sponsored by Muskegon Surgery Center, where there is new state-of-the-art technology changing the way that spinal surgery is being done. Dr. Christopher Ike is here with me. Uh, he's a surgeon from Orthopedic Associates of Muskegon using this great new technology, the only outpatient surgery center in the state to offer this. Tell me about it. Okay, well, this is, uh, we're very excited about it. It's new technology, as, you, as you've alluded to. Um, it is called the Mazur X Stealth, which combines uh, robot assisted surgery with image guided surgery which is having an impact on both surgeons and their patients. Absolutely, it's, it's allowing us to do uh, procedures that would typically require you know, a two or three day hospitalization uh, with much less exposure, much less radiation, uh, quicker recovery times uh, in an outpatient surgical setting with just a 23 hour overnight observation. To utilize this technology, the first thing we do in addition to the normal workups like with x-rays and MRIs and things is we send them for a specific uh, CAT scan of the spine that, that is a, a protocol that's specific for uh, the Mazur X Stealth. Uh, it's a low dose CT scan but what that uh, what we use that for is to preoperatively plan the placement of the instrumentation or the screws in the case in the cases where we're doing a, a spinal stabilization procedure. Before the, the surgery begins, day, days before the morning of, uh, start to plan the size of the screws and the placement of the screws. So we can pick the diameter of the screw, we can pick the length of the screw, and even we can then reposition it as needed uh, in a way uh, to, to allow the safe passage of the screw into the bone while avoiding the nerves or, uh, or other structures that we really don't want the screws to uh, come in contact with. It is important to note, the robot is not doing this. The Correct. robot is the tool that you are using to do this. Yes, during the, the operation itself. We would be in the operating room, we would be scrubbed in at the patient's side with an assistant, we would be making the incisions, and in fact, even the insertion of the screws is done by the surgeon. What the robot does is utilize the technology, the, the computer programs, uh, the image guidance to position the trajectory of the screw through space into the bone, again with just fractions of a millimeter accuracy. This other piece over here, explain what this is. This is part of the image guidance. That upper part are essentially its eyes. And there are attachments uh, to the table and the patient. There are attachments to the instrumentation and there are uh, through a series of steps, uh, a way to uh, uh, match the intraoperative imaging that we do with the preoperative CT scan. So that sees the position of the instruments in space and the position of the patient in space and, and allow us to, to put the screws or the other instruments that we use onto the patient and it will show that on the CT scan mm. exactly where we are. Okay, now you have some interesting things over here to show. First of all, I'm amazed the size of the incision. Uh, it's much different than before this point, right? Yes. Yeah, we are able to do uh, lumbar fusions through you know, a very small one and a half, two inch incision, but still accomplish the goals of the operation, which again is decompression of the nerves and stabilization of the spine. That smaller incision makes for an easier recovery. Uh, it allows for shorter hospital stays. There's less radiation with this technique. Uh, there's typically much less blood loss. Uh, and again, allowing patients to go home within 24 hours. These are just different examples of the type of instrumentation uh, that we use. The screws go into the bone. These are then connected by a rod, uh, which locks to the screws. I consider it to be like an internal brace. Mm. Um, in addition to that, we usually combine that with a, adding bone graft and a spacer that goes in the disc space to hold the shape of the disc space, the height of the disc space, where you would hope to see a fusion not only here, but also in the back part of the spine to, to obtain a very stable segment. If you would like more information about this terrific new state-of-the-art technology, you may find it on our website. Go to 13onyourside.com. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you.